Hi, it's John, and I'm delighted to share my journey of facing my fears along with my beautiful children as we climbed the UK's highest mountain yesterday, which is Ben Nevis here in Scotland. In fact, it's, it's just about behind me if you could see it. And Ben Nevis is over 4,400 feet high and over 1,300 meters. And it was an incredible journey. And I really want to share like really the, the themes of facing our fears. So for me, the there's build up and anxiety to it. I have done a little bit of um, hill walking and uh, climbing over um, mountains here in the, in the highlands over about 3,000 feet. I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 times I've done it. I haven't done um, a big climb like that for many years. And it's the, my children have done some walks and a little bit of climbing, but never anything as big as that. Um, and my wife had like said to us, you know, we should really focus on on doing it for a day. Like we're here in the area, it's it's a good few hours drive away, and that um, she would look after the dog, which is very kind of her, because little Patch, the Papillon, would find it too hard to climb. And so she had very much prepared the way, and she'd also organised getting Nathan, my fourteen year old son, um, uh, hill walking boots, uh, his first pair. So so that that was really needed. So she was amazing at organizing that. So thank you so much to my beautiful wife. Um, and so my son was really, really determined to do it. And uh, my daughter was like, I think she really felt like she wanted to achieve the, have the accomplishment of, of achieving it. And for me, I wanted, I think in part, yeah, I was like, you know, excited to do a climb. Um, I've never done it. and. I knew that I was scared of it, and I felt drawn to that fear. I felt like that's something that I need to to overcome and face. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm I'm sat in a duvet because it's very cold in my van here. Um, it's not we're not heating it here in the campsite overnight. We're we're staying in the, in the caravan next door. Um, yeah, so we. We got started yesterday, I think about 10 a.m. and um, the the weather was 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 fine. Um, I can't remember the, the the temperature in Celsius. It was probably around like the the 13 or, or 15 degrees Celsius. Um, so a little bit of sunshine, and we got off to a good start. Uh, within the first hour, we realized that my son was incredibly fast. Um, he was just like. Like my my nickname is a, a mountain goat to me, um, but his his was just incredible. Like he was just flying up, and so within the first hour, I remember feeling like up towards the limits of my kind of cardiovascular capabilities. Um, and I, you know, I run um, Monday to Friday, I run about four miles, four four and a half miles every morning, uh, and I do gym and stuff. And so I think I'm in. Even though I'm 47, I feel like in pretty good shape, maybe the best shape I've ever been in my life. And uh, my son is just racing ahead now. He does um, six days a week. He does an hour and a half um, paper round, which is a lot of work. And it is like he is just in incredible shape. Uh, so he was just like flying up. And so quite quickly, we had to say, look, like, please slow down. Like it's, it's too fast. Um, so we did. Anyway, we got um, we managed to get up after about we stopped every hour, and I felt like breaking it up into chunks was fantastic. Uh, there were quite a few people on the on the mountain. The hardest part was when we got up about an hour from the summit. Now we didn't know that we were about an hour, but we got we got close to that. And I remember climbing up those those. A lot of people had um, crampons, which are these like um, spikes that you attach to your hill walking boots, and they grip like they pierce the snow. And others had uh, also had sticks as well with spikes in them to like, help pull them up, but uh, we didn't. And so we um, we were trying our best climbing up, and uh, there was this really steep face, and it was ice really. It wasn't it wasn't really any. There was a little bit of snow, but it was mainly ice that we were climbing up. And I was like gripping on this ice as best I could, like my fingers and my boots were just sliding constantly. And at one moment, my daughter like had a, had a slip quite far back, 
a few meters and that really like blew her kind of confidence she's like you know she's really upset and um and kind of just stuck to, to the to the space and i'd kept sliding backwards as well and i didn't want to slide back and hit her and uh my son had disappeared he'd gone like i wasn't really sure but he disappeared off up the top of the um the ridge so i couldn't see him anymore so i shouted to him couldn't see him and at that moment i felt like i was clinging to the, this ice on my knees with just jeans and then my hiking boots that were just slipping away i was thinking it's time to turn back it's time to turn back and i started climbing a little bit to see if i could like get out, just shuffling up a little bit in the ice and i remember like i looked up and my daughter had like from being like totally stuck below me had overtaken me and gone further up and higher up above me and she was she turned around to me this all happened in like split seconds she turned around to me and said dad come on you can do it keep going you can do it it's so, like roles had literally reversed and um my son had appeared like stuck his head over up at the top of the ridge he's like come on guys you can do it and at that moment i knew that we were gonna make it and it just makes me so proud and filled me with such happy tears and my kids are just i was just incredible to see that so we, we did we kept going and we had another like a second kind of ice face to to climb like that but this time we were much more kind of together and nathan didn't race ahead and we just looked after each other on the way up uh, and we also found like there were these different different paths that we could take either up the rocks or up the the deeper snow which allowed us to climb and i do remember in that first moment i was describing where i was uh, a bit stuck and my, my my daughter overtook me was those i remember seeing this little bird it looked like a kind of smaller version of an oyster catcher like a little black and white bird and it was it was it, it was kind of making a funny noise and circling around specific areas of the left and it was that area that because i remember thinking as i was clinging to the ice i was thinking there's a this is the hard way i get this is probably the hardest way to climb on your hands and knees um and there were some other people having more success you know there's maybe 15 other people around us climbing uh, either side and i thought there must be like a kind of ease and flow way of getting up and right enough the bird had like been drawing our attention to like this much easier path of going up the left and that's the one we managed to get up um so definitely follow your intuition look for those signs look for the signs the universe is trying to give you um on the way up there was also people that said you know they turned back they were saying uh, some people that were coming down and they're just saying to us it's too hard like you know you'll find it too hard i remember one guy kind of laughing at me saying oh mate are you like struggling um you know are you gonna are you sure you're gonna make it um and and i said yes yes i am and that really actually spurred me on to 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 to, to keep going so thank you to all the people that turned back and uh, to all the people that said it wasn't possible when we got to the top it was just beautiful just incredible um it was literally like a different dimension i remember the, the kids saying this like it was incredibly calm there was almost no wind um it was white out so there was just like um fog and then there was um snow below us and you know we did took photos of each other and celebrated and a, and a guy a very kind guy waited for us and um took a photo of the three of us that, that you see is up at the, the top there and yeah and that was it and then we descended down and, and overall we were eight hours and 26 minutes um end to end and uh it was funny because on the way down my daughter was like she was the strongest and she was most motivational like she was keeping us going keeping us focused and my son actually found it hardest coming down so you know my just so proud of my daughter facing her fears of my son like being so incredibly fit and um and really working through that journey and uh and myself of course for for achieving it too it's a fantastic achievement so if you ever feel like you want to face your fears like do it do it face your fears uh, it's so much fun and you'll feel so much better today i don't really have much aches and pains just my legs hold stiff i don't have any blisters that also shocks me and uh, so don't think that you know just because you're in your 40s or or younger <laughs> or maybe later um that it's not possible so i hope this inspires you send him a love from scotland love you